Now I'm just going to do this uh, little experiment again because I left a comment on a, a video. Obviously didn't like what I said. I realized not even 30 seconds after I'd posted it, I'd missed out a word. I went to edit it and it said returned error. Clearly there was something in it they didn't like. So let's see how long it lasts. Well, let's see if I can edit it again. Because all I did was start to read it and go, oh, I said I have a few suspects for and I didn't put in you. So I went in and put in you. Now let's just see if I can put in, we'll put in, what will we put in? A star? Just so it'll try and save it. It's had its time, let's see. Yep, returned error. There is something in this comment that I've made that is extremely offensive and it will not take it. Interesting, isn't it? And what particularly in that statement required the, um, well, it's obviously searching for keywords and maybe I said vaccinated and COVID too many times in the one paragraph. Anything like that might go. Don't know. Maybe it's a matter of combinations of keywords like COVID, safe, vaccinated or whatever. So what I'm going to do now is cancel that, which should just leave my comment there. But it doesn't. It's gone. Let's try it again. Comment posted. Again. Well, let's just see how long it does take. Let's give it another little star. Try and do it again. Oh, it actually accepted it. Wonder why. All right, let's take out the star. Yeah, it's a time delay thing. It needs at least probably 30 seconds to um, do the quick check through and return the error. Go on again. Third time the charm, eh? Let's time it this time. <laughs> All right. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. All right. 10 seconds. Took the 10 seconds. All right. Let's refresh the page and see if it's still there. It won't be. He <laughs> was first. Gone. Chewed up. Disappears. Let's do it again. I know. It's getting pretty boring, isn't it? So... 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Let's see if 15 seconds is long enough. Yep. 15 seconds is all it takes for the quantum computer that is running Google YouTube and all these other things to come back with nah you don't get your comment <laughs> so we'll cancel it make it disappear again does that with a lot of my comments alright so this time we're going to try a little experiment instead of COVID we're going to do it back to front we're going to do Divic Oh, sorry. <laughs> Divock. <laughs> and then we'll change this to Divock. 
and then we'll change vaccinated or vaccinate to e t a n i c c a v and yeah just so that it's not confusing to write it all back so let's take out all those vaccinated words all right we're clear now 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Is it going to let me have this comment? Of course it was. So clearly... The presence of COVID mentioned twice and the vaccinated mentioned twice with virus, species, I don't know. But clearly, the mention of COVID twice in a comment along with vaccinated will actually see the comment deleted. So let's try another experiment, shall we? Okay, so this time I'm just going to delete the vowels out of COVID. See if that makes any difference. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Ah, so it doesn't like the vaccinated as well. All right, well, let's leave in the COVID this time and take out the vowels of the vaccinated. Most human beings can actually fill in the vowels in between when there's only consonants. Computers don't actually, or I'm assuming AI wouldn't have that much intelligence, so let's see how we go here. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Well, that's very interesting, isn't it? So it doesn't mind COVID being in there, but it doesn't like vaccinate. It's actually the word vaccinate that they are actually finding offence with and deleting my comment over. Just to make sure that we're actually doing it correctly, and we'll just take that one out again, see if it's changed its mind that, no, let's... Yep. There you go. So one of the um, flags, big um, warnings, is that you can't say vaccinated or vaccinate. <laughs> you can say COVID. All right, let's um, try something else. All right, so this time I'm going to put in there unvaccinated. And where's my other vaccinate? unvaccinate so let's see if it takes unvaccinate 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 6000 7000 8000 9000 10000 11000 12000 13000 14000 15000 let me just give it a little Well, isn't that interesting? It knows the difference between vaccinate and unvaccinate. Let's just check that again. Yep, it's got no problem with it. 
So, let's put in the original comment. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Do you reckon we've confused the AI? I don't think so. Oh, look at that. How bloody predictable, eh? <laughs> oh, dear. So this little experiment has showed that it doesn't matter that you say COVID, COVID or are unvaccinated. It's the word vaccinate that they object to. So can you say it once without getting your comment deleted? Well, clearly you can because I've said it in other comments that haven't been deleted. So let's try it again with only one vaccinate in there. And yeah, I better delete all these comments in a minute before someone starts looking at the ones that I have posted and wondering what the hell they are. All right, let's go for it. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Well, let us have one vaccinate. Yep, it lets us have one vaccinate. So that's very interesting. You can have two COVIDs, you can have two unvaccinated and two COVIDs, but you can't have two vaccinated. Now, the thing being is that, well, it's not a long enough comment. Is there a distance between the frequency of the vaccinated being used twice for it to say, right, it's been used too quickly within so much that it sounds like people are having a rave here. So is there a certain number of characters that is set as a parameter that it must, you know, if it's over, you know, say, 500 characters past where the last occurrence was of it, that that's okay, but if it comes within that area, well then it's not. Let's see if I can come up with that. Alright, so I just deleted all those other comments. Um, what I might do is just do this twice. And what I'll do is that I'll take out that vaccinate there and this one there and we'll do it again because that should give a bit of space between this occurrence of vaccinate and this one here. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. If you want to get away with saying certain words, you obviously have to put space between <laughs> your occurrence and repetition of it. Let's just try that again to make sure. Let's take out that this time. Yep, let me have it. So I will just put in the original comment again. Yep, takes it. Well, we know that it's 15 seconds, so... I'll just, I'm not going to count. I'm sick and tired of counting. <laughs> anyway, so let's put in. Ah, oh, returned error. How predictable. Okay. So that's a little bit of interesting thing for people to actually ponder, isn't it? Oh, it's still lagging even though it's disappeared. All right, so we'll just check again. 
Just in case, well, it looks like it's still trying to think and it's confused there. <laughs> oh, I've really freaked its little brain out, haven't I? It's clearly not bothered by the fact of that comment. All right, so let's do it again and make the vaccinated closer together this time or the vaccinate. So we'll leave that vaccinate in. Mm, yeah, we'll take out that one. Leave in the first one and take out the second one there. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. So, is it going to do it? Let's see. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, so I haven't actually checked out. Let's put it in twice without any alterations. So that comment was clearly far enough apart between that vaccinate and this vaccinate. How many characters is in between there? You need space between your words. <laughs> the computer can only calculate the occurrence of it within a certain parameter of what it's designed to look for. So let's do this. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. Be a lot easier if I just put a, a stopwatch on, wouldn't it, rather than counting? All right, let's see if this one. It accepted it twice. Wow. That, that is weird. It would not take a single paragraph, but it will take two paragraphs of it. So clearly, the computer is actually looking for people that don't go past a paragraph and um, which is most people these days because most people can't even manage a sentence let alone a paragraph they don't even spell the whole words so let's just check it again and make sure that the singular one gets deleted it won't take it here we go Oh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> All right, so we've learned a couple of things here. Um, if you want to say something, make it more than a paragraph. Because clearly, if you say more than a paragraph, it doesn't actually matter whether you've used vaccinate twice. But you could see that in the paragraph, if I took out COVID, it didn't make any difference. If I took out one of the vaccinates, it did make a difference. So vaccinate is a problem. And making a single paragraph comment that's got those things in there is clearly a, a problem too. So what I would advise people to do is actually to spend a little bit more time with your comments to formulate whole sentences, whole paragraphs, and to write a couple of paragraphs. I know that might be a stretch for some people, but you know what? Years ago, we all used to do it. And you know, we even used to get letters from people that were a couple of pages long and we had to read all those words, full words, and sentences and paragraphs just so that we could understand what someone was saying rather than all these meaningless stupid comments that are left that mean nothing and yes I've got to put in WTF because if you just put in F yeah that gets you deleted too <laughs> yeah why don't you have a bit of um, experimentation yourself 
I only did this because I, well, I went to change the comment because I'd missed out a word. I'd missed out you. And I thought, oh, that's bad. That's not even proper grammar. And unlike other people who don't mind all their little comments that say nothing, they think that they're witty and, you know, I do leave comments where I'm having a dig at the government <laughs> and they know it. Well, oh, very interesting. So why don't you try out your own little thing with your comments see whether you can say something in one paragraph and have it stay there or maybe if you repeated it and said it twice that it would stay isn't that interesting who knows how these quantum computers work but for people that haven't looked into it the d-wave computers the quantum computers have been which operate at sub-zero or absolute zero. They have the quantum potential to access things that human beings can't, to analyse all realities at once, so to speak. And the one thing that people may notice until Google came along is that search engines were notoriously slow, they would crash, websites would crash but when Google was invented with the D-Wave computer backing it up the quantum computer Google doesn't crash with billions of simultaneous instructions going through at any one time it doesn't crash now if you're of the younger generation you wouldn't remember the times when computers crashed just before Google and then Google came along and they haven't crashed since. Oh, but they do crash. Remember the Australian census crashed the last time it was done. So the number of users simultaneously using any one system can cause it to crash. So you need to be considering what kind of a system is Google using that they can take simultaneously billions of entries simultaneously and not crash that's your quantum d wave computer and if you want to do a little bit of digging into it you will see that that is in coordination with nasa as well and that's not part of your conspiracies that's all out there if you wanted to go and look at it for yourself Anyway, I've had enough fun with playing with the AI for tonight. <laughs> Catch you next time. Bye.